UFC Fight Pass теперь в России. Прямые трансляции абсолютно всех турниров UFC и тысячи часов архивных материалов. Регистрируйся прямо сейчас и получи неделю бесплатной подписки. Стань частью вселенной UFC. We see Evan Tanner a little bit older at 32 to Rich Franklin's 28, and a little taller at 6 feet to Rich Franklin's 5'11". Rich Franklin comes in a little heavy at 204, Evan Tanner a little light at 199. All right, we throw to Larry Landless, referee. Tanner looks ripped and ready. He was very proud of his body at the weigh-ins. It's the most lean I've ever seen him. Yeah, he's shredded. He's a serious dude. Let's see if Franklin does what he says he was going to do and keep it up to his feet. Tanner looks like he's looking to clinch. Yeah, he's good in the clinch. Franklin's good at avoiding. Mm. Great kick by Franklin. Yeah, Tanner's really looking for that clinch. Franklin's got to look to counter punch. That oh, big, big high kick. kick. Tanner knees. going for those knees, see? He wants to lock up his hands around his neck and land knees to the body and elbows to the head. When they're striking at a distance, Franklin, the word is, he's a superior striker. But everyone knows that Tanner is nasty inside the clinch. So you can get it where they want it. Do they want to go on the inside or the outside? But if he goes to the ground, Franklin is a very experienced grappler, too. He's got excellent submissions. They're both good on the ground. Tanner a little tight. And there's oh, the knee. Nice knee. Tanner really just wants to clinch him and knee him. He's rushing in for the clinch. It, it's such an interesting choice of weapons. You know, Tanner is just got really good at throwing knees and throwing elbows in the clinch, whereas Franklin is more conventional as a striker, punching and kicking from the outside. Watch out for Franklin to land that lead right hand. Tanner's left hand is low. See, good combination. Right hand, left hook. Tanner likes with the knee. knee. He likes, likes that, that knee. knee. Tanner looks a little tight. He's had a long layoff. But over the top right hand by Franklin. Franklin's doing a good job at avoiding the clinch. Both guys form each other out a little bit here. Oh, left big hook. left hand. Oh, Tanner looked hurt for a second. And then the high kick. It looks like he's on steady legs, though. Yeah, his legs look Three good. Three minutes left. Three minutes. Watch Tanner. He's obviously in excellent now. condition. He's in shape. When he's reaching like that, that's when it's dangerous, though. He's reaching, pawing out with his arms, looking for a clinch. That's when he might get cracked. When he does that, Franklin should go to the right hand, left hook. See, Tanner right now, he doesn't like the stand up. You can tell he's backing away, he's ducking his head. He didn't like what he felt. It might have been that high kick that hurt him. Or that left hook. Yeah. But when he's reaching like that, that's a shot. Oh, he's oh, he's the left hook. Oh, he's he's, the left hook. he's, he's hurt. Tanner is hurt. He's got to look to bring the fight to the ground. Oh, Good kick. low kick. No, right hand. Oh, he's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. All right. Good stop is by the ref. He was done there. He hit him on the top of the head and he went down. He stopped him. He was knocked out. Tanner really doesn't know where he is right now. Listen, he's not complaining. You guys might think that's premature, but Tanner doesn't. That's what's important. He's not complaining. He's not complaining. He was fortunate that he was in a position where he could hold on to Franklin, but he was clearly rocked. Yeah. And he could have been badly hurt. Yeah. You know, the people that are booing right now, they just they're not close enough to see or or they don't understand fighting. The people, Tanner was in a lot of trouble there. The people that are booing right now have never been hit before. That's the bottom line. And that is the big difference between boxing and the Ultimate Fighting Championship. In boxing, when you get dropped, you know, you can get a standing eight count and get back up. In the UFC, the guy pounces Here's the on first him. punch that hurt him early. Oh, a right oh, uppercut. Right look at a right uppercut and a left hook. And Tanner was hurt right there. This is the end of the fight. There you see oh, the, the right, right uppercut hand. and the left hook followed it. It's almost like a right hook, like a, like a, a swinging right uppercut hook, shovel punch. Oh, that's the right hand. He's hurt. Yeah, he's, he's down. See, this ain't boxing where a guy can get an eight count and resume himself. Exactly. When you're in trouble right there, and, and Frank was going to put it on. Good stoppage by the ref. And the critics of the UFC who would say that this is more brutal, this, that's a safer way to fight. When a guy gets up after an eight count and you let him get his adrenaline back and he gets his leg back on him, that's when a guy can get brain damage. You get dropped again by a vicious punch. It's actually safer to have a guy stopped by a bunch of punches after the initial knockdown. Franklin's pretty happy right here. 
Rich Franklin, excellent premier performance in the Octagon. Like I said before, he's a newcomer to the Octagon, but that kid is a veteran fighter. He stopped it. Let's go to Bruce Buffer with the time. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner to be Rich Franklin. Good job by Franklin in his UFC de debut. He kept the fight standing where he told me he wanted to do. Yeah, excellent job by Franklin. The decision, I mean, uh, rather the uh, the difference in this fight clearly was his stand-up skills. He was a much better striker. Evan Tanner is very good in the clinch and very good with knees, but clearly Rich Franklin was the better kickboxer.